In this video, we'll be visiting the uh, user management and the scholar management features of eSchool, the complete web-based school management system. Uh, we have an option of specifying as many users as you want in the system. This is the admin uh, module of user management that you see. So we can see uh, that here we have uh, defined a lot of users and um, we have an option to delete users if we want we to if we want to edit a particular user we can do that and we can even change passwords for a user if he forgets uh, his or her password and uh, once the user accounts have been created uh, we have a user permission management wizard as well so let's see let's say we have anjali as a user now we've got three types of permissions for all the uh, modules that are present in the system all the pages that are present in the system we can either allow all permission can give uh, the user only a read only on that or can give him a deny all so basically if we give anjali a deny all on any form then anjali if we log in as anjali then uh, anjali would not be able to use those forms so let's see if we say anjali deny all then we can see that here and we have mentioned that anjali can uh, just basically access mark holidays and um, that's it that's about it oh okay she can also access marks entry descriptive indicators entry and students entry form of the application rest all the forms if anjali tries to open those forms the system would automatically show her a message and uh, deny entry to her so this way uh, the system can be uh, configured for the usage of many users at once instead uh, and there is no need for uh, a separate uh, user interface or a separate management for all of these users. Now moving on to uh, scholar management, we can add uh, scholars in this system using this form. The compulsory fields are marked in red and uh, we have a feature here wherein uh, as soon as you select the class, the section that is the next available section and the roll number would be uh, automatically shown in here. So let's say this means that uh, now if I were to give an admission in 7th standard for uh, this particular year of term then uh, the student will be given the roll number 45 because 44 students are already present or maybe the last roll number that is assigned is 44. If you want you can change this roll number as well but the system will not allow you to give uh, the same roll number as is already present in the system. Uh, we can also define the uh, bus routes and the bus stops that this, uh, that this scholar would be uh, subscribing to and the religion caste category all of this information is over here we've also mentioned the transfer set whether this we have received the transfer certificate the mark sheets the migration certificates all of this information from the student so this way later on based on all of this information that we have it would be very easy for us to filter out uh, selected students in the system we can even um, edit uh, the information of any student present and uh, for that we need the scholar number but if we don't have that at hand then this lens lookup uh, facility can be used to fetch that. So let's say I am looking for a student called Anjali in my school. So I will just type Anjali and I select all the classes. It gives me all the Anjalis that are present in the school. So I will just select this particular student and I will say ok. So this would give me the record of all of these uh, uh, the student Anjali. The complete records of uh, the student Anjali would be present in over here and I can uh, edit any of these records as I want to. And uh, I can even go ahead and add history classes for this because uh, now that we you started using the system, you mentioned the records for Anjali in the current class that she was studying but it is possible that Anjali might be studying in your school since nursery. So all of the historical class information you can store in over here so that uh, the entire scholar register for all of your students is maintained in the computer and you don't need to ma maintain any other uh, type of registers. We can even activate or deactivate any student so if I say uh, put a roll number 140 this shows me, uh, just this asks me to activate the student, This uh, by this I know that this uh, student has already been uh, deactivated. So if I want I can activate or deactivate this student, see I click on activate it would confirm whether I want to activate this student and this is activated now. So if I were to put this roll number, uh, this caller number again it would give me an option to deactivate because the student was already active now it gives me an option to deactivate and um, we can even deactivate the entire class 12th over here this is the most common operation like uh, I mean after the examinations you want to give TC to all the students studying in class 12th 
so by this uh, section over here you can just uh, select class 12 science or 12th commerce or any other 12 that you have in your school and you can pdf generate that is uh, all these students in this class would be deactivated and a pdf would be generated con uh, containing tcs for all of those uh, students so this is a very handy feature that we have right over here we also have a feature wherein you can reassign roll numbers to all students now what happens is uh, normally students they keep on coming in the uh, school and they keep on taking admission so you assign roll number to them as and when they come but you might have a requirement of reassigning uh, roll numbers to all the students alphabetically once they are uh, once the admissions have closed so this screen can be used to do that you can either uh, you can either select a particular class section or you can select all classes all sections of the school and just say reassign alphabetically so the system would reassign roll numbers alphabetically uh, to the students and um, this would be uh, done class and section wise so for example every class and section the first roll number would start by 1 moving on to scholar documents there are these many types of scholar documents that we have scholar register total fee certificate school fee paid certificate tuition fee paid tuition fee uh, bona fide character and transfer certificate so here and we see a format of transfer certificate for the student as soon as we write uh, we key in the scholar number of the student we get the uh, class details and uh, we get the uh, scholar we get the uh, document that we want to print in and uh, all of these details is uh, basically pre filled if you want to uh, edit this information you can do that and uh, you can just uh, print this information right from this page and this will be in a ready printable format we have other types of registers as well for example we've got this tuition fee certificate wherein uh, this would generate the tuition fee certificate for this particular student that is uh, all of the regular certificates that are required for in a regular school and uh, this student list report that we have over here is used to filter out the students that are present in any given year of term by a lot of variety of uh, parameters so you see that here and i have uh, queried the system for all obc students that are studying in the school in uh, 2011 2012 so we have this option and um, Uh, we have an excel type uh, header and column freezing functionality so you can scroll this list and all the information would be visible to you uh, let's let's try to uh, let's try to filter this data by some other mechanism and we see that the system gives us the uh, records like we've got four christianity students studying in the school and we can even export this data to excel or we can even export all roll number lists to excel so that way uh, entire roll number wise list is exported and uh, it can be printed out or it can be used for variety of purposes in the school we also have a class promotion form wherein after the examinations you can promote the entire class to the next class currently uh, in this uh, system we've promoted all class students to the next session already because 2011 2012 session has begun so this way uh, this would be very easy to transfer all the students to a next session and uh, start their bidding so that's all that we have in uh, the user and scholar management system hope that you enjoyed the tutorial